features here. This is City Reachers TV, monthly program of City Reachers for the Love of San Antonio. I'm here, I'm Eileen Vincent, I'm here with Natalie Hardy. Hello. Uh, and Natalie and I have been working in this ministry for a long time. But do you know it's industry? Um, just 21 years ago, 21 years ago in June, um, we had our very first meeting of City Reachers, well, first prayer meeting. Just hear me, the first meeting we had. Continue with prayer for the rest of our days. <clears throat> so prayer is the, very much at the heart and the center of this ministry. And we had our very first meeting, and not like any other normal prayer meeting, because, you know, I just phoned the church and I said, do you think we can come to your church and have a prayer meeting on Saturday morning? And could we just pray for the city there? And uh, the dear pastor, whose name I'm going to say because the amazing church have been so good all the years, is Faith Outreach Church, and it was Pastor Charles Flowers. And in, uh, he wasn't the pastor at that time, it was Bud Gardner. But amazing, and how that church has supported and been wonderful over the years. Mm. But all that time, we've been praying. But we went from church to church to church in those yeah. early days. But, you know... As the ministry has grown and as prayer increased and as prayer begins to shift the darkness as these things have taken place, so the ministry has enlarged and has taken on um, different areas of um, activity. We began with a vision and the vision was for transformation <clears throat> in our city. But first of all, we always knew we'd need a sweeping move of the Spirit of God, which would really revive the churches. And Natalie came on board uh, just so many years ago now, about 18 years ago. And it'll be 19, 19 this year. 19 years yeah. <clears throat> this year. And since then, we've been working together. When I came, the first one of the first things that Eileen did, she asked me a very, a very important question. She asked me, uh, "Could I love the city? Mm. Could I love San Antonio?" And no one had ever asked me anything quite like that before. And my measured response was, "Yes, I love what God loves, and I know He loves San Antonio, so I love San Antonio, mm. and I love Him, and so it all works together." Uh, but the other thing she did, she gave me uh, a diagram, and uh, it was which I remember when I saw it, I thought, I've never seen anything like this. It's, I always called it a diagrammatic vision statement, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's what we're working towards now. The Lord has uh, done in such a thing in us and through us that all the things that we've prayed for in the city. Revival in the church and city transformation has developed into us starting the San Antonio Christian Leaders Forum, which is this, yes. uh, an outworking of this. And, you know, when God gives a vision, you never know how it's actually going to turn out in terms of materialize. But that's what we're doing now, and that's how we're working. We just believe in God that this will be one of the vehicles that he uses to cause his kingdom purposes to mm. take place in the city of San Antonio. That's wonderful, Natalie. Um, but really and truly, I want to tell you this, um, viewers, because nothing really happens unless God speaks. That's right. And, and, and I want to tell you, God did speak in those early days. Um, you know, I was very troubled when the Lord spoke to me first of all and told me to stay home in San Antonio and gather people for prayer. I was very troubled because I thought, I literally can't do that. I don't, I don't know enough people, and they don't know me, and I, I absolutely discounted myself or any ability that I might have. And I, I thought, this is not for me, Lord. You've got the wrong one. <laughs> and I really, and that's the honest truth. That's how I reacted. And it took me four years before I really got to the point of obedience to the Lord. And it, then it was quite a revolution. And. It was such a revolution in my life that God just nailed me and he made me so repentant mm. over not really wanting to do what he's telling me and feeling inadequate and in the end bringing me to my face on the floor just in my floods of tears and seeking him 
and asking him, well, Lord, you've got to do something. I haven't a clue how to do this. And I said something to the Lord then, which I think has been, it is truly still the undergirding attitude of what I'd like to see done, and it is done in City Regis, is that we, Natalie and I, we have agreed that we will only do what God says. And if God is not saying this, we're not going to go there. Because frankly, we've got no ability by ourselves to do our own thing. <laughs> None of us do. <laughs> no, that's the truth. That's right. We've only got an, an, an authority and a power and ability mm -hmm. to do what God's doing because then he pours his grace in. That's right. And that is really and truly the history of City Regions. Mm -hmm. mm. That's right. And it's still the future of City Regions as well. Because uh, we are earnestly seeking the face of God. And we love him, as I said before, and we love this city. And we know that he has purposes for this city. And we're a part of his kingdom design mechanism to mm -hmm. cause those purposes to be fulfilled in the city of San Antonio. And so we submit ourselves to him for that very purpose. And we know that the place of prayer is foundational mm -hmm. in all that we do and mm -hmm. in the way we do it. And so uh, we're always looking to pray with others and invite you to pray with us. And mm -hmm. so we will continue to build prayer in lots of different ways. Mm -hmm. And Natalie, it's not, e it's not difficult for me to think, okay, there's, there's people out there in this city who, who are more equipped, more able to do all kinds of things. That's not easy. It's not, sorry, that's not <laughs> difficult at all for me to think that way. <coughs> I, I, perf I, I have to confess to you, I think that way pretty often. <laughs> but I, I thank the Lord that there are people all over the city who are gifted, called, able, anointed, and they are also already hearing God and doing things in our mm -hmm. city and something remarkable is taking place because all around the city and there are different ministries and groups and churches churches these days who are all getting on board seeing the city when I say seeing the city <laughs> let me explain myself mm -hmm. because uh, really and truly mm -hmm. when I began City Reaches people didn't see the city those who were praying people in churches, for instance, they would be praying for themselves, yep. praying for their church, and their prayers really never went beyond the church walls. And they didn't see all the rest of the activities of the city and the need mm -hmm. and the challenge and the opportunity that there is there. Yeah. And so um, I believe that uh, we prayed this for many years, didn't we? Amen. Amen. For yes, years we and yes, years we, we prayed cause people to lift up their eyes and see the city. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps we still need to be praying that um, because there are still more people who could see the city, see various aspects of the need. Or I'll tell you another thing which is so important. And I think uh, perhaps sometimes, Natalie, even when we're talking with different ministries, this would be something that we could think about is that Different ministries have got different giftings. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of those um, ministries are so gifted to meet a specific need, or other ones to meet another need. And so somehow the Lord has given us eyes to see <laughs> the, the city. Mm -hmm. And the, like for here, the city, the whole thing, and all these different aspects of the city. And you see, whether it's talking about churches, or whether it's talking about uh, pastors in prayer, or businesses or all kinds of things creative arts and education wh whatever it is there are people who are able and gifted god appointed amen to do something and god gifted they are they're, they're called by god for that purpose mm. that's what he's skilled them in mm. and it's it's a joy to see them recognizing um, and seeing the body of Christ recognize that there are people who are called and anointed yes. by God to work in those areas outside of the local church mm. as part of the local church, the impact of the local church. And it's the kingdom of God, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's the kingdom of God advancing. Mm. And I agree with that because you see, the church, um, the pastoral church can be is within its four walls, mm -hmm. yes. But um, the church in action, 
has to go beyond those four walls. And uh, we always considered our ministry, City Reaches, here for the love of San Antonio as the church in action. Amen. This is it. We're not, we're not not part of the church. This is what the church does. It mm -hmm. reaches a city yes, and it prays for a city and it activates a city in whatever way it can. Mm -hmm. And our, our efforts perhaps are small, but what they are, we've given them to God and that he can multiply. But as I think I might have already said, our efforts are part of the whole. Yes. There's no one person, there's no one church, there's no, no. one ministry that is everything. No. We all, by the God's design, are unique and different. Mm -hmm. We all have different skills and abilities and emphases. Mm. And the Lord expects us, I think, to come together and be united mm. as one body, as one church in a city so that we can together impact that city for the glory of God. And so that I, you know, that's part of our, I think our calling in the city is to help people to find that place of connection because we are a networking ministry as well. We've connected yes. people and we continue to do that mm -hmm. of all kinds of things that they are doing that we've connected, put people together. We've got things going on right now to that end. But um, that's part of what we're doing. And uh, we're always going to do that because we recognize that we as one ministry can't do it all. We might see it all to some extent, but we can't do it all. It's good to have it on a, on a diagram. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's not for us to do, but it's certainly for us to champion, mm -hmm. and we are championing it through this work here. Yes, lovely. And that's so true. But you see, we're championing, we pray, and you can pray for us. We're praying that we're championing the purpose of God for the city, exactly. the will of God for the city. Exactly. Let me just tell you one thing. When, um, in the very early days, when I was seeking God, what on earth do you want me to do? And how on earth will this happen? He gave me visions of what he would actually do. And you know, that's encouraged me all through these years, 21 years, because he showed me the end. That's and isn't that, that is so, isn't that incredible <laughs> to powerful. see where you're going? Because, you know, it's like walking in, in the dark. You can't see the end. And there's so many obstacles and so many um, um, walls that you meet on the way because the enemy is certainly going to come against mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. if you're going to try and overturn his kingdom. And so we've experienced plenty of that. Sure. And so, but as you're going in the right direction, you pray. You can look back and say, yes, the Lord showed me this. Mm -hmm. He showed me what he would do. And you know, one of the things he showed me what he would do, and this is so powerful to me, and it makes me want to cry and call out to God continuously in prayer. He showed me an absolutely incredibly huge net. Mm -hmm. And it was, I don't know if you've ever seen such a net, but it's a circular net. Yep. And it it was made of steel, that was the thing. It was absolutely <laughs> massive and heavy. Wow. And it was made of steel, and it was the, the net edge was huge, so your hands could hardly go on it. And the net was forged with metal, you know, just like those hawser things which they use when they're pulling stuff out of the hold in a ship. Okay. And those great cranes, and mm -hmm. they pull stuff out, and it's those metal, Horses. Oh, okay. And I saw like those horses were the net. Now that that's pretty tough. <laughs> you know that that is in you can't uh, destroy that. Mm. And indestructible. It's absolutely powerful, but it needs a load of hands to lift it because yeah. it's heavy. Mm -hmm. But the Lord showed me something so key. In the in the forging of that net. The, where the net wove, there were knots. And it's what you were just talking about, Natalie. Yeah. It's the connections of unity. Mm -hmm. And he showed me that those knots would be forged. Amen. And they're forged in steel. Wow. And he showed me this years ago. And so I can just say, thank you, Lord, you're doing this. But what's the net for? It's for catching fish. Mm -hmm. And that net is going to Amen. The harvest of our city, Natalie. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's time for these things, and it is happening right before our eyes. Uh, you know, we, I think we, we as people are challenged with time. <laughs> yes. 
for us, it just moves too slowly. <laughs> but from God, from God's perspective, well, sometimes it goes too fast. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but from God's perspective, from eternity, He sees things they just are. Yeah, it just exists. Mm -hmm. And so when He says it, it there is there. Mm -hmm. And so when He says bring transformation to San Antonio, yeah. He sees it as already done. That's right. And but we're caught in this place called time. Yeah, we've got to walk it out and work it out and pray it out mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But yes, it is these people coming together to do the work of God and everyone finding their place, finding their role to play in Put the their process. Hands on the net. Exactly. Mm. And all working together. Yes. Yes. God is doing that. It's going to take a lot and of we're hands seeing, on that We're seeing it happen mm. as all these years of prayer. We're seeing, like you said, Eileen, when we first began, churches were not seeing the city. They saw themselves, us four no more. They prayed down, uh, they looked down, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But now people are looking up, they're seeing the city, and that has its own challenges. Mm -hmm. Yes. But with prayer, we can even um, overcome those challenges, and the Lord will continue to lead us. That's right. Well, and Natalie, why don't you tell our viewers that uh, some of the things that we're doing now in prayer. Yeah, we are. Because we are doing a load of stuff. Sure. We are working, we are part of another part of the net that has grown here yeah. in the city of San Antonio is San Antonio Praise. Mm -hmm. And this is part of a national initiative raising up 24-7 uh, prayer in a local city. And the way it works is, um, is pastors sign up their churches, and the churches, however when they want to do it, they're mm -hmm. praying for 24 hours a day mm -hmm. uh, for a day. So they choose the day mm -hmm. of the month, mm -hmm. and they're committing to do this at least once a month. And it's phenomenal. And so, um, uh, and if it's a small church, they can pray for 12 hours and share that 24-hour prayer with another church. Yeah. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and they can do it any way they want. So what we have decided to do mm -hmm. as a group is to bring all of the churches that have signed up thus far mm -hmm. for a night of prayer and worship. Mm -hmm. And this is coming up tonight, of United, a night of united prayer. I'm going to show this image to you, and it's probably going to come up on the screen while I'm talking. And it is going to be on uh, Sunday, August 18th at 6 o'clock at... Um, the Restoring Church, how about that for a name? No, the Restoring name. Church, located at 8308 Fredericksburg Road, 78229, not far from where we're recording today. And we're inviting you to come as we worship and as we pray. And it's going to be done a, in a unique way, in a way that will stimulate you and urge you on to the things of God. So we're inviting you to come as an individual, as a church, pastors if you're watching, Bring your churches, bring mm -hmm. your church, and be a part of this. Another thing that we're doing is not going to come up on your screen, I don't think, but every month, every month, mm -hmm. on the first Monday of the month, we have something called Marriage Monday. Mm -hmm. And we pray with uh, the San Antonio Marriage Initiative. And we are doing this, and we have seen God do mm -hmm. something amazing. One of the things that he has done is he has caused... Uh, the divorce rate to go down in the city. Mm -hmm. And you might think, okay, well, people aren't getting married. Well, that's not true. Mm -hmm. The marriage rate is going up, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Yeah. So the marriage rate is going up and the divorce rate is going down. Mm -hmm. And that's because of a, a group of people, uh, different people, different ministries, different churches even, mm -hmm. working together in this area of marriage. Mm -hmm. And so we're part of that as we're praying with them and for them and encouraging God to use them, encouraging the city to see what God is doing. And so they're working with, even believe it or not, divorce attorney. <laughs> it's amazing what God is doing. And so uh, it's just amazing what God is doing in this whole arena to turn uh, the divorce rate in the city mm. of San Antonio. Uh, it, it is quite incredible. Mm -hmm. And that's expanded and expanded in its reach mm -hmm. and the numbers of people involved and the churches involved is just incredible. And it's easy. If mm -hmm. you want to be involved, just go to the City Reaches website. You'll see some information there on it. Go to our mm -hmm. Facebook page. You'll mm -hmm. see some posts on that. Yes. And it's just easy. It's a call-in number. You call that number and just join the prayer that's going on at that time and we cry out together. And it's just half an hour. Absolutely. Yes, half an hour prayer. So it's wonderful. Yep. And I... I I was thinking the other day, and I was just thinking that, you know, this is something that has really um, helped in seeing uh, 
this whole need for strong marriages and strong families to be established in our city has mm -hmm. been really, I believe, just this half hour prayer once a month of united hearts and passion to see this thing. Lord, I just feel it's done wonders. I do too. And I, I must admit, Natalie, I've been thinking about other aspects of life in this city, <laughs> which could do with a half an hour prayer once a month, you know, because you, God answers prayer. And we believe prayer undergirds yes, everything. We do. And God hears us and he changes things. And we've seen that change come. And I just want to thank the Lord. But we've got a few minutes left, um, just a few minutes left. I just would like to just say to you that um, if we're going to be praying like this, there is a, a prime thing that we require, and it is persistence in our praying oh, yes. life. Oh, yes. We need to know how to stay in that place of prayer. <clears throat> you know, we, um, Natalie talked about um, Davis Tabernacle, and you know that's happening all over the world, mm -hmm. as well as happening here in the city, mm -hmm. and you know, as people come together to pray, praise the Lord for it. And, but you see, as these churches are praying in the city, and as all these things are taking place with different groups praying, um, we've had citywide prayer a few times. We've got citywide prayer coming up. We've got we've got an occasion when we're going to invite um, leaders of prayer to come together. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a leader of prayer and you think you would like to be invited to such a meeting, well, I want to tell you, just call our phone number, call our office here, and. Uh, we will talk with you and let you know what's going to be happening because we want to see the leaders of prayer all across the city, let them be encouraged. Yep. Let us pray together. Yep. Let us hear what God's saying collectively mm -hmm. because I believe we can move those powers of darkness as we collectively come together Absolutely. and hear the Lord. You know, the most important thing, Natalie, is this hearing the Lord. Amen. Um, and because we can pray and pray, but we need to be persistent in that place of prayer. And I want to encourage you there. Encourage you that you, it's not about praying the same thing again and again. It's hearing what God's saying. And if you hear him, it's like you go the next step mm -hmm. in prayer. And so your persistence is um, not necessarily doing the same thing again and again, but it's moving towards a target. Absolutely. And you may not see the target or the goal, you may not actually see it clearly, mm -hmm. uh, but but I want to say to you that you need to be able to um, just continue persistently in the place of prayer. Absolutely. And so, if you would like to be part of that um, group who come together mm -hmm. and are a prayer leader, we're inviting prayer leaders, well then call our office, 210-558-0755. Mm -hmm. Natalie, you say it again. 210-558-0755. We're going to have a good time when we do that, yeah, aren't Absolutely. We? And I think it's going to be excellent. Mm -hmm. And um, I think there we will learn something about the hows of persistence in prayer. Because mm -hmm. most, of, most of the folks in this city who have been prayer leaders, they've been at it a long time. Oh, yes. And you, I, I'm concerned they shouldn't be discouraged because it's easy to get discouraged in the place sure, of prayer. Absolutely. Come on, we don't see what we want to see, as you said, mm -hmm. in the time exactly. when we expect it. Exactly. And sometimes we have to wait too long. <laughs> sometimes it seems, but you know, I was just thinking about Elijah. Oh. And you know that man, incredible. You know, he goes to Ahab and said, it's not gonna rain <coughs> for three years at my word. Yep. And then as he walks and that's it. <laughs> and then, but I'm quite sure that he wasn't <coughs> sitting on his hands for the next uh, three yeah, years. So, exactly. I'm con totally sure, though he went through many, many hardships, he was praying. Mm -hmm. He was believing God. He was staying there. He was hearing the Lord. He knew when to get up and go. Yep. <clears throat> he was he, probably praying for Ahab. <coughs> he was probably pr praying for Ahab. He was. I'm Absolutely. sure he was. Absolutely. And he was praying for all those people in the nation mm -hmm. and all even those prophets bail. That's right. I'm sure he was. That's right. Because he had left the nation. He'd gone to live elsewhere because mm -hmm. there was nothing left there and he was being hounded. <laughs> but you know, he was an amazing man of God. Oh yes. 
Yeah. But even when the answer came, there on Mount Carmel, <laughs> we know what happened. Yeah. And he, then he went and he said, the rain's coming. Mm -hmm. and you know the story. I know the story. And he, he said to his, his assistant, hmm. watch with me, which is, which is important too. Watch with me. So he's praying. And he says, do you see the cloud? Is it cloudy yet? Do you see any sign that God is answering this prayer? And the, the, the servant comes back and says, I don't see anything. There's nothing happening. He says, well, check again, check again, check again. And according to the scriptures, he told him that seven times. Seven, seven times. Seven times. And he checked. And finally, the seventh time he comes back and he says, I see the cloud the size of a man's hand. <laughs> and they're looking for a deluge. Oh my goodness. Because that, that cloud of mankind could be blown away. <laughs> Next yeah. puff. That's true. Wind. Yeah. That's true. But it rained. We know what happened. But the scripture faith. tells us. Absolutely. Mm. And that's the kind of persistent faith the Lord is calling all of us to. And whatever he's called us to do, we've got to have that kind of persistent faith in the place of prayer. Mm. Well, that's a good idea to pray. Yeah. You Let's pray. do it. Yeah. Father, we just yeah. first I want to thank you for the place of prayer. You have given it to us. We didn't earn it on our own. And Lord, you've opened a way for us where there was no way into the very presence of Almighty God. And you've given us the tools that we need, how to, how to actually pray through your word, through your Holy Spirit indwelling us. We thank you, Father, for all that you have given to us. And we pray that in this day that we're in, as we see the different challenges in our city and in our nation, that, Lord, you will fortify your people who you've called to this place of prayer. Amen. We will not neglect it. We will just, uh, we will grab the horns of the altar, as the scriptures say, and we'll continue to cry out to you, recognizing, as Jesus declared, you always hear us when we pray. Yes. And Lord, I want to thank you that you hear us, not just to hear us, but to to, to cause your will to be done through what we are decreeing, which is the word of God. We want to thank you for doing that in our city of San Antonio. And, and as we do this, Lord God, we will have that sweeping move of God that you've showed to Eileen years ago. We're going to have it in the city of San Antonio. Yes, we Lord. thank you that you're going to do that because you are faithful to your own word. We thank mm. you for that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And Father, I want to thank you that you encourage those who pray. Yes. I thank you you do that. I thank you, Lord, that even in times when it seems as if we're just sitting there looking to see if a cloud is appearing, <laughs> that even so, you there's something you do in our spirits mm. which cause us to stay there in mm. that place mm. where we're waiting. Yes, we're waiting and we're expecting. And I want to thank you today, Lord, that during this waiting time, whilst we, we were full of expectancy the, for the sweeping move of God, and Lord, we see so much evidence of the change, and Lord, and a revitalization of churches, new churches being um, planted. Lord, we see that so much is happening in our city. Lord, the bad and the terrible things are advertised, but Lord, we're going to feast our eyes on the things that you're doing and yes. encourage our spirits, Father. Yes, yes. And we're going to give you praise for what you're doing. You're hearing, you're answering our prayers, Lord. And we thank you, Father. And whilst we're in this place, we're going to stay believing mm. and we're trusting you for the future. And we pray, Lord, that as we persist in our prayer, that, Lord, you will show us with clarity the next step. Mm. And the next step, Lord, we're pushing in, we're pushing back the darkness, and Lord, with your revelation, you show the next step. Mm -hmm. And so, Father, we ask you, Lord, as these um, prayer leaders come together, that unitedly, Father, you would grace us yes. to hear, hear from you yes. the next step. Mm -hmm. Lord, how do we push back those powers of darkness of the foul spirits that are invading our city, mm. grabbing the minds of children and young people, Father. How do we deal with this issue of this um, homosexual issue, uh, flooding the city in every conceivable manner, Lord, in businesses, in schools, Lord, in the libraries, everywhere, Lord God. Father, we say in Jesus' name, the next step, show us. Show us how to bind the strong man. Show us, Lord, how to deal with the strength of the enemy. Give us wisdom. 
Give us, Lord, your ammunition, your mm. word. Yes. Lord, when you speak, it is. When you speak, you create. When you speak, Lord, demons fly. Yes. When you speak, Lord, the raging sea and the wind has to be quiet. Yes, Lord, God. Lord, and we're asking, Father, for the power of the Spirit to come down upon the intercessors, Lord, <laughs> that, Father, they would hear from heaven and will know what you're saying yes. and will be able to speak the same thing yes. and see your will done, yes. your kingdom come, and your will done in San Antonio, Texas. Yes, Father, Lord. we ask you, Lord, that you would have everything you've designed for this city, mm -hmm. a sweeping move of the Spirit of God, reviving the church, and totally transforming our society. Lord, let your blessing and anointing be upon every aspect of the ministry and upon the San Antonio Christian Leaders Forum. Give us your grace and your encouragement in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, bless you today for watching with us and listening with us. And I pray that you too will join in prayer. Come on. It's a city to be taken and you can be part of it. Will you, will you come back again next month? We will be here and we will bless you. This is City Reaches for the Love of San Antonio. Thank you.